Alrighty guys, welcome to another video and in this tutorial I want to show you guys about the zip function ZIP. Now my guess is that if you've been programming Python for like any decent amount of time you probably saw this a lot and it's kind of confusing to know exactly what it does just by looking at it the very first time. So I'll go ahead and show you guys a real basic example now. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to have two lists of equal length and we're going to zip them together or time together so we're going to return a final list of tuples so I'll make a really simple demonstration this won't be anything useful but it'll be really easy to see what's going on so say that we have two lists of names Bucky and these are all first names Tom and Taylor now we have another list of equal length and this can be the last names so Bucky my last name is Roberts. We'll say it's Tom Hanks and uh, Taylor. Ugh, my, oh my, pumpkin pie. All right. So I have two lists right here. And obviously, it would be really nice if we could tie these together somehow. Because in our program, basically, we're always going to be using these together. The first and last name, you always see them together in pretty much every computer program. Say you're making a social network or something. So what you can do, instead of iterating through the entire thing in some kind of for loop with a counter and calling um, like 0, 1, 2 every time, that can get kind of messy. So instead what you can do is zip them together. So call the function zip and inside here is the parameters. You toss in whatever list you want to zip together. So this is pretty much saying, okay, take the first list, which is this, and the last one and tie them together and store that in a final list of tuples called names. So let's go ahead and take a look at names just so we can visually see what exactly is going on. So again, I know that I just tied together a list and I'm just going to loop through them right now so it's kind of pointless but again this is just a demonstration. So for A, B and names print A, B. So let me just run through this and check this out. Bucky Roberts, Tom Hanks, and Taylor Swift. Now like I said, what this is actually doing is making a list of tuples. So it actually looks something like this. Bucky Roberts um, I'll just copy this. So it's going to look something like this. Bucky Roberts, Tom Hanks, and Taylor Swift. So again, whenever we loop through them, it's going to break them apart and you can access each individual element if you need to or keep them together in a nice zipped list. So again, this example, not very good, but now that we understand the basics of what a zip is, what a zip function is, and basically how it's constructed, we're going to be seeing this a lot whenever you want to actually do something with these items like comparing numbers say that these were two numbers you can say okay if a is greater than b then save a or maybe I don't know multiply the two numbers together and you're looking for the result something you know a little more practical like that in a real world application so uh... yeah there we go and uh... this video is only like four minutes long so I went a little faster than actually that's it that's all the Python for this video but I do have a story to tell since this video is so short and again totally unrelated Python um, so you can move on to the next tutorial but for those who want a little entertainment uh, this is something <coughs> kinda of funny that happened to me I went to my mom's house last night because there was a hockey game and my little cousin was over there and his mom is super strict like she only lets him eat organic food and he's not allowed to drink soda or anything like that so me and my sister and this little kid my little cousin were sitting around the dinner table and uh, I always like to be like kinda goofy around kids just to see how they'll react so my mom went to the um it was like it's it wasn't the regular store it's like this Amish store where you can get baked goods and she bought this little loaf of bread it's like a little bit bigger than the size of a cell phone so I picked it up and I started I started talking to it like I was talking to someone and I'm like hello completely serious and uh, my sister 
she just was like playing along with it exactly she didn't even smile or anything so now my little cousin's like looking at me like he's thinking about laughing but then he's like looking around he's like how come no one else is smiling is this guy like really talking to someone on this bread phone so uh so I'm like, hello, and I asked them to be quiet because I can't hear them very good on my bread phone. So I'm like, oh, it's my doctor. And uh, I go, oh, the test results are in. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a yeast infection. And then and then my sister just busts out laughing because uh, she couldn't keep her, uh, I don't know, she couldn't keep a straight face anymore. And then his mom, she comes over and she starts flipping out because, like I said, he's like, She's like so straight edge, and I just <laughs> she's like you can't talk to him about yeast infections and yeah yeah yeah, but uh I don't know like the story doesn't have a punchline or anything so that's as good as it gets but I thought it was pretty funny and she was even more mad that me and my sister were laughing when she was like trying to scold us or whatever, but that is my yeast infection story so um well thank you guys for watching now you know about zip list and I'll uh, see you next time.